Have you ever tried using Instagram and you saw this error message telling you that you're not currently eligible to um, use the Instagram browser content tools and you're wondering exactly what could be wrong? Then that is exactly what we're going to be talking about in today's video tutorial. Hello friend, my name is Maverick from Online with Maverick and in today's video, I'm going to be your tutor and I'm going to put you through exactly how you can go about this and the necessary measures that you can take into consideration for you to solve this particular problem. All right, so now let's head over to the Instagram application. Okay, so right here on my Instagram application, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to take you straight to the settings. So what I'm going to do now is press this um, um, profile icon at the bottom right corner there. Then I go straight to tap on this menu icon. Okay, so after doing that, I want to tap on settings. So I want to show you something real quick. And the next thing you want to tap on is business. Okay, so you want to tap on business and you go straight to branded content. Okay. So um, very quickly, I want to show you something because I've seen a lot of people, you know, lament that um, um, they've not been able to um, access their branded content and they didn't do anything wrong. But the thing is that um, a lot of people have done several things that are wrong, but they don't really know exactly that what you're doing was wrong. OK, so now let me show you something pretty quickly. So if we, if, we, if we tap on this set of branded content tools, you see the do's and the don't right here. Okay, now this account is still eligible. Okay, this account is eligible rather than still. It is eligible. But I want to show you some things because um, a friend of mine also had this issue. And the way he was able to solve it was by actually removing some content that were not his own. Okay, now a lot of people, um, you know, post, um, you know, you, you try to post content that you don't have authority to use so some, some of the things are you know don't post content you don't you didn't create or you don't have the right to use or post content that could be considered false misleading or overly sensational or post or don't share content in a way that compromise quality for viral distribution now, one of the contents you can post that can make you not to be eligible to have access to this branded tools for you to be able to monetize your instagram account or your instagram um, um, um you know influencing lifestyle is when you just maybe go ahead and you know just post any random um video or a random post that you saw on another platform or google or you know on anywhere and you just try to um you know repost it on your instagram it wouldn't work okay or maybe you just decide to you know um you're this kind of person that you give out freebies like um all these um free spotify account all those kind of stuff you, you try to give out free stuff which um it's kind of hurting the um the, the you know a particular company okay or you you know you are you are giving out um guides and everything that are misleading or you yourself know that this thing is false and you feel like okay this is instagram you can do whatever it is it doesn't work that way because you can do all these things before you monetize okay you can do all these things um if you don't have if you don't want to you know get access to all these branded content tools but the moment you want to monetize and you also get access to all these branded content tools that is when you got a problem because you are going to be notified that you will not be able you know to um, you know do to have access to all these branded content tools so what you want to do now is uh, you want to head straight to your um, Instagram profile okay or your post rather um, you want to head straight to your Instagram account and you know right here you, you, you your whole interface is gonna be different from um, this is actually my business account for Instagram followers and um, all those Facebook adverts so I'm um, sorry it's kind of somehow but what you need to know is that you want to delete okay you want to remove some contents that you yourself know that you didn't create by yourself contents that you know you know that you just got some weird hairs and you repost because a lot of people have been saying oh they didn't do anything wrong they're surprised that you know the account just they just saw this on the account but the thing is that it is because of all these things you reposting you using content that is not yours or you posting misleading content that you know that this thing is not a fact or you're the kind of person that give out free guides that you know free things something that the person is supposed to subscribe to that people are supposed to subscribe to and you you go ahead and just give out the free access to read you're gonna be affected okay so you want to delete or remove any content that is not yours okay um let's say for example for you to be able to remove a content what you want to do is you want to tap right here and then you tap you don't want to tap on this um two three dotted line here right here and what you want to do is tap on delete okay so you want to delete that content that is what you want to do you want to delete those types of content okay the reason is because the moment you don't the moment you delete them that is the only way you will be able to um get access to all this too so now the next thing once you delete and remove all these things you want to head over to your settings okay come back to your settings right here so right here you want to click on help okay so you tap on help and you come to report a problem right here okay so you tap on report a problem and in case you see something like this it's just an advanced feature on instagram which you can check your phone to report a problem but what you want to tap is report a problem without checking okay so you tap on that 
and right here you will be able to lodge your report okay so what you want to tell instagram is okay um you realize that um because i wouldn't want to include a template here that a lot of people would use um that might cause another problem so you just want to write on instagram okay just tell them that um you're sorry okay or if you realize that um you've uploaded a content that might have violated your policy because that is the major reason why you will see something like that you just have to check out your your post okay so if you have a lot of posts you will have to check all your posts okay you have no choice than to do that except if you don't want to get back um your branded content tools okay so you just tell instagram that okay you've checked out your post and you've removed um contents that might have violated their policy and they should consider to review your account and activate back your instagram branded tools okay so this way they are gonna consider you and um you know they are gonna also um you know review your account and hopefully if there's any if there's still any issue that you're having they're gonna tell you but just make sure that you remove all those contents that you don't have the right to use that it's not it doesn't belong to you or it's not free copyright kind of content so just to remove them the moment you do that you will see that you are gonna be able to have access to these okay and you can also go to your gallery or take a screenshot of um, the branded tool okay so take a screenshot of the error message that you see in your um, Instagram um, that the error message you're saying take a screenshot and tap on this gallery and it's gonna take you to your gallery and you're gonna upload that screenshot okay so you want to upload the screenshot um, you know right here okay you want to upload it so just tap on that it's gonna upload so they're gonna know that okay this is the error message you're seeing and through that you'll be able to get back your account this is the only way for you to do this even the moment you delete all those um, contents that Instagram doesn't like the moment you delete everything if you can wait and you're patient there's high assurance that you are going to get it back because this is the way that um, I was able to, you know, help my friend to get back his account, okay? So you're going to wait, but if you can't wait, you can just fast use this to fasten the process so that they will be able to quickly get back to you. And through this, you will be able to get back your Instagram account and you can start to monetize and use branded content tools. If this helped you after you've applied everything I've said in this video, just make sure that you come back and let us know exactly um, how you go about it. And if it really solved your problem and if you like this video just make sure that you hit the red subscribe button it encourages me to keep creating more tutorials for you guys and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button the like button so that youtube can recommend this video to several other people and comment your thoughts below if you like this video comment it below i'm always glad to always reply every comment right here on my channel i always reply every comment on my channel thank you very much for your time i appreciate it i'm gonna see you in some other video tutorials peace and enjoy the rest of your day bye